Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well and you had a good weekend. It's Monday, December 14th. I have a very quick video update on the latest stimulus news. There was a new bill that has just been put forth today to try to get this passed by the end of this week. Basically, lawmakers have until this Friday to get something passed, not only government funding, but also for this relief bill to get this signed into law by the end of the year. So here is today's proposal, which is very good news because basically they've split out the bill into two pieces, the part that everyone agrees on and the part that people don't agree on. Basically, lawmakers are saying, look, if we can't agree on a couple points, let's just compromise already and get something passed. It's not rocket science. It's something we've all been thinking, but finally they've done it. So without further ado, let's dive in. Thank you as always for subscribing and supporting our channel and watch until the end because I have a special announcement about our vaccine distribution tracker and how we're helping people understand where you might be in the queue relative to other priority groups in case you're curious about that. So stay tuned till the end. Here is what happened today. This bipartisan group of senators, you can see they presented the COVID emergency relief framework here. What they've done is they put forth a $748 billion package that they think everyone agrees on. That includes unemployment insurance for 16 weeks and another round of PPP funding. And then they took the two most contentious issues, liability shield protections and funding for state and local governments, they took $160 billion and put that in a separate bill. Again, the major takeaway is that lawmakers are running up against deadlines for the expiration of a couple things, federal assistance for programs on evictions, unemployment, and paid leave later this month. So $748 billion, okay, here's what's included in that. Just to recap, $300 billion for PPP, $82 billion for K-12 and higher education, $300 weekly enhanced unemployment insurance benefits for 16 weeks, so that'll take you through April, an additional 16 weeks for pandemic unemployment assistance for gig workers and independent contractors, and $25 billion in emergency rental assistance and a one-month eviction moratorium until January 31st. So this is generally very positive. Of course, it leaves out the direct stimulus checks, the $1,200 stimulus checks that we're all hoping for. Senator Bernie Sanders has said he will not support any bill that doesn't have direct payments in it, but it doesn't look like that will get into this deal. I think most of us are in the boat. Let's just get something passed already, especially for unemployment, education, and small businesses. And here's a summary from the New York Times. Here's what they say. The release of the two bills comes as Congress stares down a Friday deadline to complete a must-pass government funding bill, which lawmakers and aides are close to finishing, and an agreement on the spending legislation could emerge as soon as later today. So stay tuned for that. So this seems like a promising approach to split apart the $908 billion into two deals. Again, what everyone agrees on, let's get that passed, and then the contentious stuff, Let's put a pause on that and figure it out later. The whole argument that Pelosi has done for months and months about all or nothing does seem a bit, frankly, silly at this point. The fact is, no one's been helped, <laughs> and helping some people is better than helping no one. And I get it's all part of the negotiation, but I think many economists and probably most of you watching would agree that something is better than nothing. One other point in this bill would be that this measure would put six billion into vaccine distribution. So before I talk about vaccine distribution, let me just mention the case count. Again, we're seeing it continue to go up and the hospitalization rate continues to go up. ICUs across the country are continuing to be overrun. We've been covering this on the Skip blog and on the app. So for sure, download the free app at Hello Skip on the App Store and Google Play, including this map of the Pfizer vaccine, how it went to the regional hubs yesterday, and now by the end of today, it should be at almost 200 locations, an additional 400 tomorrow, and an additional 66 by Wednesday. So that'll be a total of over 600 by Wednesday. So here's how the Pfizer distribution started yesterday. Again, as more vaccines get approved, they will have their own logistics plan as well, and a couple are in the pipeline, and a couple are getting very close to requesting emergency use authorization. So stay tuned for that. Would love to hear in the comments how you're feeling about the vaccine. You know, the national polls do show that, frankly, people are still split. So I'd love to hear, hey, are you for the vaccine? Are you ready to get it as soon as it's available for you? Or are you not ready? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. Finally, we're really excited about this. This will be on the app later this week, a vaccine distribution tracker, which will basically show how progress is being made, where you stack up relative to other groups, right? There are the health 
healthcare workers and nursing home residents that are getting vaccines first as we speak. That'll take some time, then essential workers, then teachers, then a few other groups and other high risk groups for COVID will get the vaccine. So we'll have this up on the Skip app later this week so you can keep track basically see how progress is being made. And this is all based on CDC information, state and local information, and vaccine distributor information. And if you want to sign up for these alerts right now, you can, I'm going to leave the link in the description. It's on our yoga.org page where you can sign up for alerts, put in what best describes your situation and find out more information. So again, we hope it's helpful. We hope it gives you some peace of mind. That's the health front of things, obviously on the economic front. We'll keep you posted here if there's more news today or tomorrow on this compromise. Again, will they go ahead with $748 billion and agree and get something into law this week or next week? Let's see. As always, thank you so much for supporting us. Stay well, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.